In today's tooltip, we're going to look at layers. As you draw the model in Envisioneer, it is putting the various 3D elements on 2D layers. So when you transfer the model to Worksheet View, you can control how each element will print. Let's go to Worksheet View and insert a view and review the layers. I'm going to select the one floor plan sheet. Once here, I'll go to Insert, Smart Views, Define Smart Views, or select the Define Smart Views icon. In the Insert View dialog box, it shows my model according to the insert settings on the left and the bottom of the screen where I can make any adjustments. Once happy with the view, select Insert. A copy of the floor plan will attach to the cursor. Left click to insert it on the drawing sheet. If you left click to select the floor plan, you can see that it is one entity, a block that comprises all of the individual 2D lines that have been created to illustrate the floor plan. If you look to the right, you can see the properties of the block. One property is definition and an option to edit. I'm going to click on the edit button. This lets us look at the 2D floor plan as individual lines. We are editing the definition of the block. If I select one of the wall lines, I can see its associated layer in the properties dialog box. I can see that the exterior wall sheathing is on a layer walls exterior surface. If I click on a stud wall line, it reports that the layer is walls core. So each separate line that makes up the walls is on a separate layer and therefore can be manipulated separately. I hit the escape key on my keyboard, which takes me out of the block and the floor plan is now a single entity again. Down at the bottom of the screen is the layer properties information. If I click on the button to the left of the reported layer, it will take me to the layer properties dialog box. Here, every layer is listed in alphabetical order. I'm going to scroll to the bottom to look at the layers associated to walls. Here, I can see the various layers for walls. There are eight different columns of information. The first lists the name of the layer. The second column is display. Is the layer visible or not? For our example, I'm going to turn off the layers walls, walls airspace, walls exterior surface, and walls interior surface so that the only wall core visible. The next column is selectable. Do you want to be able to select anything on this layer or not? The next column is plot. Will this layer print or not? You may want elements visible on the screen, notes to yourself or print guidelines, but not print them. Next is priority. Every layer has a number. A higher number will place one element in front of elements with a lower number, achieving front to back priority. The next layer column is color. I'm going to change the wall core color to black. Next is line types. You can change the line type associated with any layer as, and you can also alter the line weight, which is the last column. When I click OK, the view will update with the changes that I made. The layers allow you to further take control of how a 2D illustration from your model will view on the screen and print. I hope that makes your work easier.